Ferrari is increasing its supercar lineup. Just a few days after unveiling the one-of-a-kind special projects car known as the BR20, the Italian automaker unveiled another one-of-a-kind supercar. Indeed, everyone is giddy and excited about this lineup. I mean, who doesn't? Supercars are a must-have for luxurious people. In this video, we will tell you all about the $2.3 million limited edition Ferrari. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Even if it's a limited edition multi-million dollar vehicle like the Daytona SP3, a new Ferrari model is always a special occasion. The Ferrari Daytona SP3 is the most recent automobile in Ferrari's Icona line. It is the third model in the series following the Monza SP1 and SP2. The limited edition vehicle was inspired by racing prototypes from the late 1960s and early 1970s and was created as a tribute to Ferrari's 1-2-3 victory in the 1967 24 Hours of Daytona. The design features the 330p34, 350Can-Am, 512S and other Ferraris that reigned Daytona at the time. The Ferrari Daytona SP3 adopts the LaFerrari's carbon construction, forgoes hybrid drive in favor of the Ferrari 812 Competizione's unassisted engine, and is wrapped in a vintage body meant to evoke Ferrari's last big endurance racing victory. The honor is appropriate given Ferrari's plans to return to endurance racing. This is indeed amazing, right? This results in a car that weighs 3,270 pounds dry have 828 horsepower and 514 pound-foot of torque, and has a peak power of 9,250 rpm and a rev limit of 9,500 rpm. It's not a one-off, but rather a limited-edition vehicle in the same class as the front-engined Monza's SP1 and SP2 from recent years. Why go to creating such a sophisticated vehicle only to abandon the hybrid drive and futuristic styling? Wouldn't you constantly drive it if you knew there was a cheaper, older, less restricted version that was faster and better? It's something that will become obsolete far more quickly than an internal combustion engine. In a few years, we'll have a far better battery and electric drive technology. But a big V12 will always be a big V12. Perhaps this car is an admission that the LaFerrari, a fantastic blend of old and new, took the scales too far in the wrong direction. Ferrari has introduced its latest limited edition supercar, which has an iconic moniker and is powered by the company's most powerful combustion engine. The new Daytona SP3 is the third model in Ferrari's premium, Icona range of supercars. As mentioned and proudly broadcasted, the 1967 24 Hours of Daytona, the first round of the International World Sports Car Championship, saw Ferrari finish first, second and third. The 330p3, 4, 330p4, and 412p, which famously raced across the checkered flag side by side, brilliantly embodied the spirit of the 1960s sports prototypes. Generally regarded as the golden age of closed wheel racing, the Ferrari Daytona SP3, the second car in the limited edition Icona series, pays homage to Ferrari's legendary mid rear engined V12 sports prototypes. The Daytona SP3 mixes classic styling inspired by previous race cars with Ferrari's most powerful road-going engine and improved aerodynamic components, earning it the unofficial moniker First Official Ferrari Daytona, a reference to the 365 GTB4 of the 1970s. The new Daytona SP3 is believed to be inspired by 1960s sports prototype race cars following the Monza SP1 and SP2 open-top cars that began the Icona series. These are the Le Mans-winning Ford GT40 beating 330p4 with modern design cues created by Ferrari's in-house Centro-style team. Retro influences like a forward-set cabin, bulging wheel arches, and somewhat Testarossa-like horizontal blades dominating the front and rear ends are joined with the modern LED light strips. 20-inch front and 21-inch rear alloy wheels, and surface. The traditional sheet metal conceals Ferrari's most potent road-legal engine, 
and evolution of the 812 Competiciones roaring 6.5 litre naturally aspirated V12, which produces 618 kilowatts and 697 newton meters, up to 8 kilowatts per 5 newton meters at 9,500 RPM. The SB3 shifts the V12 to the mid rear behind the occupants, putting more weight on the rear wheels which are the only ones to which power is sent via a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. Ferrari claims a 0 to 100 km per hour time of 2.85 seconds, a 0 to 200 km per hour duration of 7.4 seconds, also the top speed of around 340 km. The engine and transmission feature titanium con rods, which are said to be 40% lighter than steel. It is also a rebalanced and lighter crankshaft, diamond-like carbon piston pins, Formula 1-derived cylinder valves, high-pressure fuel injection, and more. Starting with the Ferrari Daytona SB3, the curving body of the limited production supercar contrasts with the sharp and angular design elopements that dominate modern supercars and hypercars. The Daytona SB3 is being billed as the most aerodynamically efficient car ever created. Despite the absence of any active aero features, the naturally aspirated V12 positioned in the heart of the supercar is also kept cool by massive vents and ducts and intelligent design. A large splitter and bumperettes inspired by the 330p4 dominate the front of the Daytona SP3. The supercar has heavily sculpted butterfly doors with an aerodynamic design that feeds air to the engine. It also has pop-up headlamps with retractable eyelids. Furthermore, the back end of the SP3 is the star, with a stack of vertical bars stretching from side to side, giving it a unique flair. On top of the large diffuser, dual exhaust tips are positioned in the center. The interior of the Daytona SP3 is small and minimalistic to keep the car focused on the track. The seats are fastened to the carbon fiber frame, and the pedal box may be adjusted so that the driver can sit in their favorite position. The wraparound windscreen provides an excellent perspective of the world outside the cabin. As mentioned, the SB3 has been powered by a 65 liter V12 engine adapted from the 812 Competizione that produces 828 horsepower and 512 pound-feet of torque, making it Ferrari's most powerful engine to date. The V12 is mated to a 7-speed automatic transmission that sends power to the rear wheels. According to Ferrari, the Ferrari Daytona can reach 62 miles per hour in 2.86 seconds and 124 miles per hour in 7.4 seconds. The max speed is over 211 miles per hour. There's also good news. Unlike the Monza SP1 and SP2, the Daytona SP3 has been homologated for usage in the United States. With plane-derived T800 and T1000 carbon fiber Kevlar components, two-phase autoclave curing procedures, and a race-derived adjustable pedal box, the Daytona SP3's chassis is inspired by Formula One and aeronautics. The measurements are 4,686 mm long, 2050 mm broad, and 1142 mm high, with a 2651 mm wheel base. The dry weight of the SP3 is 1485 kilograms without fluids or passengers. Pirelli P0 Corsa tires wrapped around the 20-inch front and 21-inch rear alloy wheels are manufactured exclusively for the Daytona SP3, steered around a track using version 6.1 of Ferrari's slide slip control dynamics electronic system, which includes race and CT off modes. The front brake discs are 398mm in diameter, while the rear discs are 380mm in diameter. The Daytona SV3 is set to be Ferrari's most aerodynamically efficient car. It lacks active aerodynamics. However, passive aero has vortex generators and underbody devices, a blown front bumper shape, and downforce boosting front splitter and rear spoiler designs. The limited edition Icona model features the same touch-heavy interface as the new SF90 Roma and the Portofino M, including touch-sensitive steering wheel controls and a 16-inch curved touchscreen for all infotainment and driver information functions. The seats are locked to the chassis, as in an endurance racing prototype, rather than enabling the pedal box to shift to suit different drivers, and they are trimmed in blue suede. 
Fortunately, accomplished automotive designer Frank Stevenson is on hand to provide an in-depth examination. Stevenson's experience as a designer of renowned supercars gives him a unique perspective on the world of automotive design, which he'll use to help us unpack this bold Ferrari Daytona SP3. The Ferrari Daytona SP3 is significant because it represents the end of an era in which Ferrari's renowned V12 engines were not accompanied by hybrid power and turbochargers. But before we get into engineering, we need to assess whether or not the Ferrari Daytona SP3 is attractive. It's not easy to design a supercar, engineering requirements, safety restrictions, and production capacity work together to distort the original design's attractiveness. Because of the impact of these unique stakeholders, Ferrari designers nevertheless have to answer to many external considerations, even if they are encouraged to create beautiful automobiles. To add to the stress of automotive design, the world wants Ferraris to be as beautiful as we expect hatchbacks to be functional. Stevenson devotes attention to each component of the Ferrari Daytona SP3 in his design analysis to acquire a thorough understanding of the vehicle. Stevenson had a favorable reaction to the general design, although he has many fair criticisms. Stevenson is eager to point out elements of the automobile that aren't particularly attractive, such as the front-running lights and rear brake light bar. He also concentrates on overly expressive regions, such as the front bumper air inlets with far too many strakes. After all, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and given that all 599 Ferrari Daytona SB3s have already been sold, the design must be good enough for Ferrari's most discerning buyers. Deliveries are planned to begin at the end of next year and be completed in 2024. Ferrari unveiled its newest Icona as new CEO Benedetto Vigna sets the Italian luxury sports car maker on the path to full electrification. Vigna is a seasoned IT executive who took over as CEO of Ferrari in September, promising to deliver its first utterly electric vehicle in 2025. Meanwhile, Ferrari fans have waited for the second Icona following the Monza in 2018 for more than three years. Ferrari's Iconas are limited edition special series automobiles inspired by great models from the past and designated for ultra-wealthy private collectors. Ferrari has three electric hybrid models in its lineup, including the 296 GTB sports car, which is noted for its prancing horse symbol and red racing cars, and was released this year. Ferrari has been reserving its polluting V12 engines for limited edition vehicles, with Iconas accounting for barely 2% of total shipments in the latest quarter, while V12 cars accounted for 12% of total shipments. Only 1,600 V12 812 Competizione and 812 Competizione A cars will be produced, with a starting price of just over half a million euros, or $564,000. Amazing, right? This Ferrari Daytona SP3 is really an iconic supercar that has then again done wonders in the field. The interior, which has a minimalist approach, is also magnificent. Does this suit your taste? What are your reactions to this video? Also, what are your thoughts? Feel free to drop your reviews and responses in the comment section below. And before leaving, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications on our future content. See you in the next video.